Hey. <laughs> so, the wind pretty much looks like it's dying down now. We had gusts, it said 60 miles, but I almost think they might be stronger on this ridge. My tent got just tore up. I love my tent for a lot of reasons, but rain and uh, 60 mile per hour winds and uh, it's rough. Uh, it came undone and on one corner and it could have been because I got out and used the bathroom maybe loosened it. There's a lot of different reasons what could have happened that the corner came undone because there was a rock on top of it too and it got ripped out but it's just you know the winds. I don't think any tent's going to do really really great with wind and I thought it was below freezing and uh, it's still just raining. So I'm soaking wet. My sleeping bag is pretty wet. So. <laughs> it still feels kind of warm though. It's the jacket. Keep the jacket on. Put waterproof socks on. So. Staying warm. Still wet. <laughs> it's a little wet. So hopefully in the next hour the rain is supposed to stop. Somebody messaged me. That would be awesome. So, oh, six more hours till sunrise. Yay! <laughs> no matter what. Wait, I don't know the lyrics to that either. But I know. I think Janet Jackson sings that. I will survive. I have no idea. <laughs> well, I don't think I'm going to get to sleep tonight. Oh, no, the light. <coughs> I don't think I'm going to get to sleep tonight. But, like I said, if the hiking guru Darwin did a tactical retreat in the Sierras, then I think tomorrow I need to do a tactical retreat. Yes. Wow. I got my rear end kicked. <laughs> wow, it's just the wind. I'm still, I love my z packs tent. It's just, you need to stack about 10 rocks if there's going to be about 60 mile per hour wind. So, note to anybody, probably any tent. <laughs> I, there's just not a lot of rocks where I am. So, uh, it was kind of, I was actually foraging for rocks. So... I kind of was anticipating it, but there still wasn't enough rocks, so, oh man, <laughs> I'm glad the wind's dying down, and uh, it sounds like maybe the rain might be dying down too, but five hours till sunrise, I believe, yeah, PCT's not worth dying, but yeah, even though everything kind of feels wet and icky and cold, I kind of still feel warm, it's the puffer jacket, and I'm wearing the rain jacket, and then a shirt and a long sleeve shirt so that's probably really helping to keep me warm <laughs> so wow i don't know 2 2 a.m talk this is the love hour <laughs> with your hosts <laughs> so just call in and tell uh your love problems to the host. <laughs> God. Yeah, so laugh when you're nervous, laugh when you're scared, laugh when you're cold. Man, go on the PCT. It's going to be fun, they said. <laughs> you know, I still remember that. Some people said it never rained on them once. And then uh, I think one guy said it rained on them one time in Washington. And... But I still, I'm happy I left early because I still don't think I, w I wouldn't have made the desert in uh, April. Because, I mean, yeah, I, I'd rather be dealing with the cold right now than the heat and dehydration. And Wow, I looked up the symptoms of dehydration. I haven't actually really suffered them besides just being thirsty. I think it was like dizziness, dry lips, uh dry skin, uh, nausea, 
I don't know, I felt nausea though, but I think I was thinking of food and stuff, so. <laughs> uh, but I don't think I've really, you know, gotten to a point where I was actually, you know, like, de dehydrated. Or even the color of your urine, if it's like really, really super dark yellow. Never even got to that point yet on this trip. So, I'd say overall pretty good, because, uh, wow. I've only been mildly thirsty, I guess. <laughs> and I didn't even drink anything uh, going to bed and stuff like that. So I didn't have to go uh, potty. And it's just this cold and wet thing I've went twice. <laughs> like, come on. So. Killing me. Uh, documenting everything. I wonder if this would even make the cut. <laughs> I was like, this is just too much. Oh man. Oh. Well, everybody, it's a beautiful night in the wind. Holy, I mean, for what we had, like hurricane gusts, wind going on, it feels like it's calming. That is just. Crazy, that just would be awesome. The tent isn't going everywhere. That's it's beautiful. So beautiful. So nobody called in for the love hour, so I guess my show's canceled. No. No, what have I done? Uh, nobody wants love advice from Nearly a 400 pound man. <laughs> oh man. Oh well. I guess sign off and just wait for that five hours to come so I can uh, hope. It doesn't say the sun's coming out at all tomorrow, but I have hope. Fingers crossed. Even if it comes out for an hour, man, that would be a magical. I would sing to the sun. Okay. Good night, everybody. I hope everybody's having a nice warm time tonight. Oh, well, the snow. <laughs> I don't know, tactical retreat. <laughs> oh man, it was supposed to stop a long time ago. What's going on? <laughs> ah! <laughs> hey, so I made it in the morning time and check it out. This is not snow, that is ice. So I survived the night, but I have something to tell you. Guess who's back, back again. Stingray's back. <laughs> Tell yes. your friends. And here we go. Here's Hannah too. Stingray's daughter. It was kind of a miracle because my boot is soaking. It was ice. So I tried to put my foot in and then I was like, oh no, this is not going to work. It's not going to work at all. <laughs> so I jumped in his car. And get, I'm trying to get my feet warm so I can get back out there. But Stingray's awesome. And so is his daughter. So they surprised me with coffee and a sandwich, which is gonna power me for the day. That's just the coolest thing in the world. But this view doesn't even look real. It looks like a painting. Even those clouds look like a painting. But look behind me. It's a chocolate ice cream mountain with more like whipped cream on top. <laughs> and this is actually a memorial for uh, actually, Stingray, you want to actually explain it? That'd as far awesome. as I know, this is a memorial for people who hang glide. Not necessarily they died hang gliding, but the local hang gliders, when one of their members dies for any reason, they put a memorial up here. There may be other stuff up here for other people, but that's the dominant one, is, is uh, hang gliders. Wow, that is really cool. It's beautiful. If I was going to have a memorial, I'd have it here too. <laughs> just, it's just the view is unbelievable. You can't beat that. And the clouds, we're almost level with the clouds. I mean, you can't beat this at all. It's 
spectacular. <laughs> I'm so uh, surprised there's so many uh, hikers out today. I didn't think there would with this weather. And like I said, this is not snow. This is like ice that fell. <laughs> and uh, for you guys, you guys introduce yourselves real quick. Hi, I'm Dodd. Hey, I'm Brian. YouTube, Brian Jester, one, two, three. Just oh, yeah. out for a section hike. Yeah, Austin, you should check out his YouTube channel. Check out this though, he's in shorts. Yeah, baby. That's some hardcore hiking right there. It's windy, it's cold, it's yeah. like it has to be below freezing. Did we mention he's a Navy corpsman, so he just does this for fun? All right, Navy corpsman. Yeah, buddy. He's gonna give us Motrin and tell us to hydrate. Yeah! <laughs> Okay, so it's so awesome. I did not think the sun was gonna come out. That's not what the weather report said. It's gonna be a really cloudy day. So I call it a miracle. Uh, check uh, this out, drying my gear. So last night was pretty rough. I almost, I wanted to quit <laughs> there for a second. But you know what always keeps me motivated is when I do get some internet, I check out the comments and wow, there's just no way I can quit. It's just so many people are watching. This is, I'm accountable. I can't just quit. I'll never forgive myself if I quit. So even if I break my leg, I'm just gonna have to pitch a tent and just live up here and, with this view. <laughs> I'll live one with the ground squirrels. If there are ground squirrels, I thought I saw one here. I'm not sure. If it wasn't a ground squirrel, I don't know what that was. <laughs> but you can't beat this view. So, okay, well, I need to be smarter. I feel like I'm getting smarter each time. So, uh, dry out my gear the another snowstorm most of the snow has melted already but it was like ice it wasn't i wouldn't call it what was falling on me uh snow first it was water for like three hours and it's like i'll just drop a bunch of ice on you next <laughs> that was crazy <laughs> i want like nice fluffy snow that bounces off of you and so pretty and you know think of christmas and sing christmas songs and that was not <laughs> <laughs> even close so oh, it's a miracle though that the sun came out <laughs> uh, awesome uh, those clouds too they're almost like level with me uh living in florida has some beautiful clouds and stuff but this is just a whole nother level you got to see the top of the cloud the bottom of the cloud the side of the cloud that is just, that's beautiful. Just watching them float around. It's incredible. Even the cloud right there. It really makes you appreciate life and just how beautiful it is. Hey everybody, guess where I am? I'll let you take a guess. Baby shark, do do. Do do do, mama shark. Do 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 do, daddy shark. Do 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 do. Did you guess? I'm in a pit toilet. <laughs> okay, so I did air out my gear, but it is still wet. My sleeping bag is moist. Oh, I hate that word. 
<laughs> uh, moist. Hmm. I think that's a Seinfeld reference. Maybe. Anyways, whew, it is cold, but I'm out of the wind, and the storm's coming tonight, and I think it's just going to be pouring snow all day tomorrow, like nonstop is what I'm getting. But if you're in California in February, is it February like 15th? You know what's going on. Uh, somebody just messaged me in Idaho that's within the next hundred miles, it's one of my towns I'm stopping in before uh, climbing a really crazy dangerous mountain. Uh, they apparently closed all roads because of mudslides, only locals in. So this rain, snow, everything, it is crazy in California. So I don't know, <laughs> but I'm so happy. This is like a four star pit toilet. Doesn't even smell. They must have changed uh, stuff recently. So this is, this is nice. I'm out of the wind though, so I'm pretty psyched. And this probably will be the video that means I'll never get a girlfriend ever. <laughs> I'm gonna stay single for the rest of my life because once you see a man in a pit toilet, you're like, there's just no coming back from that. <laughs> anyway, yeah, hike the PCT, they said. You're gonna sleep in exotic locations, they said. <laughs> Very exotic, <laughs> very romantic. You got the TP, the toilet, your chair, you just eat dinner right there, right? <laughs> yep, I figured out why I'm single. It's not because I'm fat. <laughs> All right, I'm hopefully gonna, actually I have some internet, so maybe I can message a few people, but I really wanna sleep. So, good night everybody.